All right, now check this out. This is really interesting. I discovered this by accident. Uh, the thing, this little jewel thief, the, it is oscillating, but the voltage is too low to actually turn on the 4 series blue LEDs. Uh, and I'm still running it off of that same little button cell there, AG3. It's uh, On the package it says it's an alkaline cell. Um, one and a half volts, but it's so dead that it won't light the LEDs anymore. And over here, I have my my good soldering iron, and the tip of this soldering iron is electrically isolated, so it's not going to uh, be transferring anything to the circuit. Now, watch, watch this. Okay, so here's the thing right there. There's the battery. Right, and here's my soldering iron. I'm just going to heat the battery up with the soldering iron. I've already done this three or four times. It's going to work. Yeah, look at that. That was to the positive side of the battery. Well, I unsoldered the connection now. That's to the negative side of the battery. That little, that's just a reflection from the top of the capacitor there. That's not, that's not a light. Now, it's probably not actually recommended to solder onto these batteries because they, they can explode. Uh, if they get too hot, whoops, I just disconnected the connection there. Can't see well enough to actually solder that back on. Now when that thing turns on like that, the scope shows that the peaks really go up. So that's definitely voltage there. Let's see, here we're... And now you can see that, see how the frequency is increasing? That's characteristic of the battery running down. And the voltage drops, the LEDs are out now. It's looking at that at one volt per division, and the frequency is rising through 230 kilohertz right now. Okay, so now I'm going to apply heat to the battery again. And there you can see the frequency decreasing.
and now I can see the lights, the blue lights are coming on and they're glowing quite brightly. And now I've stopped applying heat. So uh, am I liberating more of the power that's actually still in the battery by doing this or is the battery actually converting the heat energy to electrical energy? I just discovered this effect so I don't know if I can just if I can keep doing it with the same battery or if there's um, no, it doesn't seem to be operating yeah it does it did, it did come on again uh, I evidently need a little bit more of a spot of solder on that battery I'm losing the ability to stick that wire to it. Okay, there's a little bit more of a blob of solder there now. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually turn the soldering iron off. There should still be enough residual heat in the iron for a few seconds. Okay, the iron is off. Okay, well that proves to me that the iron is not putting actual electricity into the system, just heat. Iron is still off. Jeez, how many times can I do this on this little battery? Iron is still off. Well, that's pretty amazing. Uh, so that's using one little depleted alkaline battery, uh, I guess, as a heat to electricity converter uh, for a jewel thief. Thank you for watching this amazing demonstration.